Um, Suzanne Andresen is also here. She's on the board of selectmen and she will be the selectmen's liaison to the committee. And we thank you all for being here. Um, this is something that the board has talked about exploring for a while. Um, and it will be interesting to see the path that we take moving forward. I think we're all gonna learn a lot. So perhaps we can go around, introduce ourselves a little bit and um, tell each other which part of town we live in and experience with your own internet usage. Let's start with you, Elliot. Um, so I live down on Mountain Road off of uh, Hill Road off of Foster's Point. Um, and uh, we were early adopters of all things internet. My, my, my dad was, we were way before internet. We were among the first to get phone service down Mountain Road um, in the middle 70s, maybe. I don't remember. It was a cable on the road. Um, my dad met someone up in North Bath or Mary Meeting at some point in the 90s who had an, a point-to-point uh, uh, -point antenna um, that provided low data rate um, uh, for internet. And so he put up a little antenna up on the roof that's still up there, although it hasn't been functioning in a long time. I have what's called bonded DSL now, um, which is sort of two times DSL. Uh, it is exceedingly unreliable, um, mostly because consolidated uh, facilities between the central office in Bath and uh, really just about anywhere. The, the copper is terrible with lots of corrosion, very hard to get good wire pairs. Um, and so over the summer, one of the reasons I wanted to do this over the summer, one uh, in, a, in a two week period, I spent 21 hours on the phone with Consolidated begging them to please send someone down the street who was competent and would listen. That <laughs> I just about had a stroke. Anyway, it's been pretty reliable since then, but it's it really doesn't cut it for sort of a modern household. Is Comcast not available there? Who happens to be our current? No, and I and 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 I and and I would like to blame my very good friend. Um, uh, now his name has just gone out of my head. He Roger? was a selectman at the time and one of my neighbors. Roger. Roger Green, yes, thank you. So Roger was a selectman at the time and he didn't look at the map with care. And then afterwards he said, oh shit, sorry everyone. <laughs> and How did he exclude himself? Come on, where's the- it, it, it was really, it was quite amazing. Anyway, um, do you want me to just sort of launch into everything I've been trying to do? I've spoken to Comcast nationally. I've spoken to them locally. I've spoken to Red Zone, um, lots of people. Anyway, just curious if it was if it was available there or not. It's not. Uh, Comcast national database says it is, um, and the local guy says, "Well, I don't care what the national database says. <laughs> it's not." And he's correct from the, as I understand from the contract, it's not in the contract. And they've refused. To How large an area is that, Elliot? I'm sorry. How large an area is that that's not included? Um, so it's all of Mountain Road. It, it's it's all it, it's the it's all of Mountain Road, and, which is not you know that many houses. It's all of Mountain Road and uh, where Jordy lives. Hi, Jordy. Hi, everybody. Sorry. Up on, up on Harbor Ridge, and I'm not sure about what's on what's on the other side. I, I just don't know. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know if Quaker Point got covered or not across the way. Okay, just curious. And I think uh, down at Birch Point, also they do not have coverage down there. I, there, there, there used to be a map that the that the town had years ago. I don't know if it still exists. Okay. 
How about you, Rob? Well, actually, I'm right around the corner from Elliot and down the street from Jordy. So I have, um, and I've only been here about a year. Um, I and I'm a heavy user of the internet because I'm I'm working remotely. Um, I use Red Zone, and because I I have line of sight, just where I'm at, um, I have not had a a big problem. But one of my neighbors a little bit further down Harbor Ridge, who also should have line of sight, I'm referring to um, to Jerry. Um, he has he is using Red Zone, and it just I got a text from him today saying he's had a horrible experience. Um, it's the maximum speed is less than 50 megabytes, the maximum, and that's, that's their premium package. So when it's working well, that's as fast as it goes. Um, I would, I would, yeah, I'd love to know exactly, sorry. What street are you on? Uh, Harbor Ridge. So it runs, okay. it, it's actually. Uh, <laughs> Ridge, Ridge um, Hill is well represented in this committee. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess the way the squeaky wheels. <laughs> and it was like, Jordy was trying to get on right from the get go. The, the connection speed is so slow; it just took him in the eye. It, yeah, exactly. Well, although it did take a while, that's the pinwheel to get me on. Uh, um, but I would. I've also. I'm not, I haven't spent nearly as much time as Elliot just referred to in trying to um, <clears throat> get Comcast to come out here, but they. It's a, for them, at least what I was told was it was a capital investment for them to get to us. And this is a, a parochial problem down here at the end here, but they, they have to come all the way down more than a mile down a mountain road because when I spoke to them, the, there was a, they did have service on mountain road, but just where it connects with Hill. I, I don't know if you heard anything different, Elliot. Uh, no, it, it, it ends where the tar used to end, where, you know, <laughs> uh, you can see, you can look up, you can see it up on the pole where it, where it ends. Um, the people from Red Zone, by the way, I have just, I've really enjoyed talking to them. The engineers are just, they're lovely. Yeah. They won't do anything, but they're really nice. <laughs> well, and actually Elliot on that one, so, we had um, Red Zone swing over and they, you know, put the pole up and they even said, I can get you 10 megabits, which is the most that I can get from Fairpoint now consolidated. And they're like, our 10 megabits is the very best we could offer you. Don't take it because you're not going to get it all the time. And that's because, so I'm also on Harbor Ridge Road, but on the non-water side of Harbor Ridge Road. And I don't have quite the perfect line of sight, which rob is able to get on his side of the road so the best that i can do and we've had we called comcast and you call their place down in wherever it is massachusetts they're like yep we'll send somebody out because we can get you service and they come out and <laughs> we they, they came out and they're like we can't get you service we don't know why the sales people keep sending us here but you need to go through your town in order to do a contract and all that kind of stuff um so we've done we've had both things yeah, but not evidently uh, down Mountain Road, except for as Elliot said, the beginning of Mountain Road. Yeah, there are some there are some roads that were left off of the original plan, and mm -hmm. Comcast has refused to consider making any adjustment. Okay, I will be happy to have a conversation with them. Well, well good luck. That would be great. <laughs> You'll be my new best friend. <laughs> Before you have that conversation, make sure you read what contract we have and see when it gets renewed and all that stuff. Because sounds like that's uh, a key point. We have what, two years left? Is that right, Christine? I'm not sure. I'll have to check. I don't want to give you incorrect information. Um, but yeah, they, um, yes. I'm a proponent of having op options. Um, in anything that we do as a town, internet, right. school, library choice, whatever it is, I'm all for that. I think people need to have options. We have one option right now. That's, that's about it here. That, um, that, that would be then an option. That would be <laughs> an option. And it's a slow <laughs> option. They get, the, the, the best we can do is 10 megabits. I also, uh, after jumping on this, um, excuse me, after saying I would join this, this working group, uh, which thank you, Christine, for putting this together. 
I, my kids, because my wife teaches at Wayne Fleet in Portland, my kids go to school there and um, the father of one of the kids uh, owns Tilson. So I reached out to them and just said, I'm gonna be going into a meeting on this in the next couple of weeks. This was two or three weeks ago. And just to ask is Tilson does internet connectivity throughout not just Maine, but all over. And so just had an interesting conversation with them, which I can find all those emails and pass them along to people. But, you know, they, they kind of said they can help uh, depending on whatever road we decide to go down. That was all I said. I haven't even had our first meeting yet, but. Mm -hmm. I, but that's you know, good information to have. Yeah. So they just said, let us know. And, and like I said, I can dig back to the emails. It was a good three weeks or a month ago that I talked to them. Okay. Who are these people? Tilson Communications, T I L S O N. Um, and let me actually take a quick look at something. Feel free to keep talking. I don't need to slow things down. Sandra, why don't you tell us your experience? Well, some of you know that I do a lot of work. Overseas, I work in 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 international development, primarily in very poor countries, and I'm used to because I've often lived there, used to really having terrible, terrible internet. It was quite a shock to come to Maine, and found out that I was now uh, a developing living in a developing country and didn't have access to good internet. So. When, when we moved down to this area, we've been here, will be five years uh, the, the, the summertime. One of the things that, that we consistently ask about was what the internet was like. And if it didn't have good internet, no matter how much we liked the house, we, that just ended it there. Um, uh, so, I live near where Susan lives, and, we, and I assume that you have Comcast just like I do. And, and, but that means everything is bundled. So I have, I have, I have uh, internet, I have uh, uh, television, I have my phone all on Comcast, and it's a pretty expensive uh, 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 bundle for doing it. And and, and I don't know if it would matter what you had, you know, like when the electricity goes out, oftentimes, you know, our internet goes out also, even though our generator, you know, we, we learned that we needed to buy a generator after our first year here. Uh, even when our electricity comes on in the generator, oftentimes our, our, all of our other services are out. And so that makes a problem. And it makes a double problem in that we also don't have good internet service here at all. Uh, do you have good internet service, Susan? I have very good internet service. I'm actually doing a speed check right now. I've had, um, so I, um, when my son started homeschooling, I've been home officing since 2003, but when my son added that homeschooling to our platform, um, I went back out to Comcast and had them um, upgrade to their latest modem. And with that, uh, I just did a speed check. I've got um, my speed to gateway is 695 um, megabits. And let me see what my, and 16.6 .6 upload. So I've got phenomenal speed. Um, I have no complaints. So I'm trying to figure out how we can get everyone to that. Um, and, and one of the things I talked with Christine about when we do our survey, I think we need to really um, evaluate what equipment people have um, and make sure, you know, my, my, my new modem is, uh, looks like it's a little black tower about yay big versus the traditional long skinny ones. Um, did you get that I from have, Comcast? I did get it from Comcast and um, it, I mean, when I tell you I've got terrific service, I have, and that was, I was testing that on my Wi-Fi. I also have, um, when we built the house, every room in the house has um, a, a high-speed internet connection, uh, direct connection, which I run my computer off. But on that, on the Wi-Fi, that was my Wi-Fi check on the cell phone just now. So I have amazing Wi-Fi and I have amazing um, direct connection. So I think there's, um, 
we need it in our survey process. I think it's critical that we understand what type of equipment hat people have, what type of modem, the age of the modem, um, what capacities are, because um, I think that, and, and teach people how to do the speed check and understand um, how they can evaluate what's going on in, in our initial survey. Uh, it's going to take some time, we, uh, you know, but we should certainly check every household, understand what's going on, who their service is. Um, I'm curious to find out what areas of West Bath are not serviced like Mountain Road. Um, I have no problem taking that on um, with the corporate folks over at Comcast. Um, I like a good challenge um, and see uh, what we get out of that. Uh, but I, I think that I think we definitely, the, I think a survey is extremely important to understand what our community members have. And um, some of that could simply be um, age of equipment. And I'm not calling that a cop out, because, um, but I think that that's going to be a piece to what people have um, and make sure that, that Comcast has provided you. It costs me no more to have the top of the line modem. Um, upgraded in the house so that we need to make sure um, what people have and, and right, even get right. serial numbers that we we can do you know a, you know a check back on so I own my own equipment I have owned my own equipment from Linksys and stuff like that um, but it's it definitely make sure that we have the best equipment that's available uh, I, I'd like to say to you that that I do develop I do uh, monitoring and evaluation so I do a lot of research but I also probably am involved in three or four Zoom calls or some kinds of calls like that. Today I was on a call for several hours uh, to, to Iraq where I'm, where I'm doing a, an evaluation right now. So it's really important to me, you know, during this time that we can't be out of the home to have really good in internet and internet that I can use you know, for my job because it's it's really, really critical. So those periods of times when when we don't have it, you know, that means money that I can't earn. Uh, I also think that that I'm I'm also I'm really concerned in this period of time about making sure th there's two areas that I really, really want to make sure that we capture. And one of those are the elderly in that they have access to and know how to use it and kids who are now having to to do schoolwork have they got what they need to be able to to to, to do their schooling i i think that we really really need to capture that and make sure that we're looking at those things too very very student, specifically the students were sent home with modem uh, tyler has his own hotspot and a lot of the schools were providing hotspots for the students um, and, and that, so I think that they, the schools, I believe the schools, um, have managed that if, um, if the students requested it, um, he actually, when I, and I keep him cause I've been home office, like I keep him off of my network, um, at all times, although he's actually gaming on it right now as I'm on a zoom call. So, um, I'm having no buffering or anything with that. And he's doing a full video gaming down in the basement. Okay, Steve, let's hear from you. I'm down at the south end of Foster's Point Road. Comcast runs the entire length of the road. I'm connected at uh, about 250 megabits per second, uh, no problems. I could buy 1,200 megabits a second if I want, no point of it. Um, just for note, my uh, Verizon cell phone download and Upload speeds are almost as fast. They run 30 to 40 megabits a second. And I've been, since dial-up internet uh, came around, I've been on it since time immemorial. Yeah, the Verizon stuff, it actually works. It's just, it's quite expensive. Yes. Um, you know, to have a, a, a Verizon. So I'm this, I'm going to add a Verizon hotspot to my cell phone plan, which is the most expensive Verizon cell phone plan that you can have. Um, uh, so for 20 additional dollars, I'll have the I'll have Verizon. I'll create a Verizon hotspot at the house, but it, it's not a perfect solution. Um, I would encourage also with Verizon, um, I use that as my cell carrier. Um, I have a cell booster, which I purchased, and that was $250 to own. 
and um, I my I gained two additional bars by doing that. So there's some things that there's some technology that we ha that's available to us um, to help make us more proficient in some of this. So that's really um, why I want to make sure that we really when we survey we ask what equipment, what cellular, what they have to really understand how we can help people bridge the gap. Um, you know, initially, and then you know, we, I mean, we certainly got options. Um, whether we go down and do um, FiOS networks or something like that, um, I'm not sure we're quite ready for that, but we'll see. Um, mm -hmm. That it, you know, just to make sure that we're gearing up to make sure our residents have um, options open to them. Again, t teaching them how to get there and and tell them what's available to make it better. Mm -hmm. I think that's something that would be good to do for our next meeting is to take some time and review the survey that I sent out which I'm looking for to be amended. It was just, you know, something to get us started. Uh, if you can review it and we can go over it together, and come up with some ideas for how to put that survey out. I have a, a question. So does the town have available to it? Who's connected? Does, Com does Comcast provide any information to the town about who's on the contract and where is it and how many households are connected and do they, do they tell us anything? I don't know if we can get that information or not, but it certainly wouldn't hurt to try. Um, we haven't taken any steps so far to okay. see if we could obtain information. The least we want is a, a map of where all their cable goes and where it goes, unless we find out otherwise, those people are taken care of. If, they want to spend the money. Yeah, I mean, the assumption is that if the cable is there, that people have the service available to them. Mm -hmm. um, I, that, that's my assumption. Well, I, it's, and it's, uh, I was certainly at fault of, you know, I, I had purchased my own equipment because I, at the time I bought it, it was cutting edge. Um, and when Tyler came home and, went, and was doing some more Zoom calls before we got his own hotspot, he was definitely interrupting um, what I was trying to do from work. So I think understanding the age of your equipment and the type of modem and whether you have the, the best modem that Comcast has to offer, um, you know, making sure that, that we understand it. And, you know, we'll take pictures of it. So people say, does your modem look like this? Or does it look like this? Or when's the um, last time? So it helps really educate what are the options offered to our residents. I think it's going to be important. You, you know, Susan, that, that brings up the fact of, of, you know, those people who who have the funds can get the best that's out there. And so it, it talks about a, an economic divide. And, and, and so we need to keep that in mind also. I, and I know that you would, but it, it's important for us to think about that as we're doing this, because you know what can, what can we do to make sure that people can get the best that they possibly can get and how we can the do that. The modem from, from Comcast was not an upgrade charge to me. It was okay. on the same plan. That was not. I, I had I had my own equipment, ah, and they gave me a better modem, um, and, and it was better for free. So that's really where I caused part of the problem because I purchased my own equipment and it was outdated. So when I when I went back to their modem, I was getting better service. I assume free. That, I assume that for that for many households in town, that that the cost of the Comcast bundle thing is an impediment. That that's my assumption. That it, it, it's not. I don't know what it costs because it costs over two hundred dollars a month. Oh my god! Well, that's a lot of money. I can tell you right now that I pay two different Fairpoint prices, which is now consolidated because just one line wasn't enough, and I couldn't get anything else. So they're like, just buy another line of ten megabits because of the number. I have two kids, a wife that teaches. Right, we were all online and. 10 megabits, doesn't matter what kind of device you have, you can only get 10 megabits. And so I needed to be able to at least get 10 megabits to power my devices and another 10 to power her. So we pay a hundred bucks a month, but it's for two separate lines. I'd love to ditch both of them eventually, but we don't have any other choice right now because Red's on. So do you have cable TV? Nope. Nope. And do you have any landlines? Nope. So we and we've been here for, we built this house eight years ago. Um, no, more than that. Yeah, so eight years we stream, ago. We stream Netflix and whatnot over our bonded DSL. 
you know, we can't do anything else, you know, if we're watching television, but <laughs> like we can, we, we can stream, uh, we can, we can stream high definition television using the bonded DSL. Um, but you can't stream high definition television and be on a call. And you yeah. really can't be on, we, 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 I ran an experiment over the summer because um, everybody was coming, uh, coming to Maine to see how many Zoom calls could we run simultaneously. It wasn't that great. Um, some people, <laughs> some people, my, my children, because they knew how aggravated I was, um, they did, they ran their own hotspot <laughs> on their own equipment without telling me because I was so upset about how she was. I thought, I, I thought my family gatherings were boring. <laughs> I can tell you guys this too. I just did one of, from Maine Broadband. I did a quick result, you know, test of my speed and I got my download at 2.54 and my upload at 0.22. There you go. And 2.54 uh, um, is, uh, I think that's actually a, um, a different, because on the modem speed, there's a, there's a five and a 2.54. Mm -hmm. It sounds like there's a lower, um, element do you do you do you have capacity for the 5.0 or is it or is that what they um send to you the 2.54 you're, you're talking frequency probably yeah and probably talking rate download right yep so so I'm that talking, was download speed. his downloads um, my download speed is 2.54 2.54 megabits per second and my upload is 0.22 megabits per second So I, I'm I'm like Sandra. I have um, a triple, but I I have that. I've had two landlines from I home office since 2003, and I have two landlines that I've had since then. Um, and so that's why I I've maintained that I'll call it the triple package. Um, but I you know I know that there's a phone internet without TV. I'd be curious to see what that is versus your hundred dollars, Jordy. Um, for that, because I, I I think you're going to get close to that mm -hmm. price point for for the Comcast element. Mm -hmm. um, it's just getting it out to your location, um, mm -hmm. and and truthfully, my my download speed is just shy of 700. So it's oh. you know there's and so that's where we need to figure out what what we have in capacity, um, and that modem is a, is the standard Comcast modem or Xfinity or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So, is there anyone other than than yeah, Rich Hill that's, that's who was that's in the blues? Modem. Well, I'm sorry. I, on the modem part, I had them come in this summer, and he's like, "Yeah, this is still what we're running for all of our things." So, I did ask because I I realized technology definitely outdates itself very quickly, um, and I didn't. That's the only one I had. Yeah, this uh, Zizel, whatever. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm getting. 20 megabytes download and five megabytes upload. So I'm getting similar to what you're getting. And I'm, I'm mine's faster, but I did pay, I, I'm, I'm paying uh, just over 150 a month and, and it is just for the connection. I'm not getting cable television or, but uh, my upload is, my upload is eight and my download is 39. That's the yeah. premium package for red zone. You for, I think around $90, I can get, it would be somewhere between eight and 25. This is supposed to be between 25 and 50. And it, I find that it usually hovers around 40. Yeah, so I'm paying on the order of $32 a month for my bonded DSL. And I'm getting nine, nine down and like one or one and a half up. Okay. But, it's all, you know, but it's only 32 bucks a month. Yeah, you got you got in at the steel. It's now forty five, I think, uh, Elliot, for that one. <laughs> I had it at the right moment. <laughs> Fifteen years ago was the perfect no. No, no, it was, it was a couple of years ago. Yeah, no, we've we've been with both when it was well, still playing. I, I think that's probably where we should head out to is really you know create the survey, um, and and survey our residents, um, both as a link off the website, but also it needs to be in hard copy sent to the, you know, the tax address of record with a return address envelope so that they respond so that we can comfortably survey our community and find out, you know, where, where do we stand? 
um, and, 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 you know, where they need to put some effort into telling us the equipment, get the serial number off the back, what's the date on it, um, and teach them how to do um, a simple speed check, you know. I mean, it's, I'm more than happy to go out to some people's houses if they want help to look at it. I've, I've been doing this since 2003 from a home office, so I've gotten pretty proficient at it, and I'm happy to help anybody. Well, it sounds like that's what we'll talk about next time we meet then. Right. I, I think that, that, you know, if we're going to do it in, in, in sending things out, there are ways that, that we can, you know, if people don't want to give us their names coming back, that we can put codes on it so that we can make sure when those come in that we can cross those off. And then when we open it, we don't know who the name is, but that we can then have people that we can call that don't respond uh, uh, to it so that we that we we know who who, are, who we're not getting responses back from that we can well, we need for them to respond to know where their address is because that could we could determine a a, a a dead zone if you want to call it that um by location also so i think it's it's going to almost be critical that they share their experience um, right so if, if we can get it but we want to get as large we can typically Mail uh, surveys don't have a very good return rate, so I'm just, I'm just, you know, saying that there's some things that we can do to, to increase our return rate. You know, and, and we can talk about that. You know, this is what I do for a living, so uh, I'm just, po I'm just pointing those out. And there's some things that we can talk about when we decide how we're going to do this. Sounds good. Now, because we have a select board meeting tonight, we're going to have to wind things down. Um, but we'll send out some information. Um, I'll send out the survey again, make sure everybody has it. And we'll choose another meeting date. Um, you can, we can chat back and forth. You can let me know what time works for you, which day of the week. Um, the next time we meet, we'll also be choosing a chair and a vice chair. So think about whether or not you might want to serve in those positions. Um, and I thank you for attending tonight. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Have a good evening, everybody. Thank you for organizing. Okay. We really appreciate All right. it. Bye, everyone. Take care. Yes, Steve. Perhaps you can uh, be in charge of getting, well, she's gone. But uh, if someone can be in charge of getting a map of where Comcast goes, my guess is that Comcast probably covers three quarters of the town, I don't know. And if so, those people have the best option and can concentrate on where the problems are. Okay, that sounds good, Steve. I'll look into that. Okay, ciao all. Thank you, good night. Thank you all, bye-bye.